Hello everybody, it's Stefan Joubert here from the Stefan Joubert Guitar Academy and in today's lesson I'm going to speak to you specifically about the pentatonic lines. Uh, the pentatonic lines are very very interesting and it's uh, something great for you to actually discover and to get to know because it will help you to get to know the guitar neck so much better. And by memorizing the pentatonic lines you will then be able to not only know the guitar neck, but also be able to make some really, really interesting uh, improvisational ideas that you can use in your playing. So let us take a look together at the uh, pentatonic lines and let us take a look together at how they are constructed. Actually, I'm just going to play the first position of the A minor pentatonic scale for you. In the first position, we have the root note on strings one strings four and string six creating this little triangle that's just for our reference point so the scale itself very simple we all know the scale if you're a beginner just starting out this is one of the first scales that you can get to know that will help you with your improvisation but if we look at the scale closely we will see there are two lines line one is That's basically the 5th fret on the 6th string, the 5th fret on the 5th string, the 5th fret on the 4th string, the 5th fret on the 3rd, the 5th on the 2nd, and the 5th uh, fret on the 1st string. So it's a straight line of 5. It's also on the 17th fret, 12 up, because if you, if you add if you take 5 plus 12, you get 17, so that's the octave. Always 12 semitones up will take us to the octave. The second part of the line, and now I'm referring again to the first pentatonic position, is going to be 8, 7, 7, 7, 8, 8. So we've got the line 8, 7, 7, 7, 8, 8. If I play these two together, Five 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 and eight seven 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 eight eight. I basically get the first pentatonic position of the A minor pentatonic scale. Now let me just give you all the lines, and then we'll take a look at how we can use it. If you look in the description below, there's a PDF document with these lines. You can download them. You've got the lines in there, and you've got a few little other little ideas in there of some useful things that you can do around these lines as discussed in the video. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe, please do share and please do like and leave a comment for me. So I'm going to run us through all the lines. We've done the one on five. We've done seven, eight, 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 seven, seven. Moving up, we've got 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. Bear in mind, this is all in A minor, so the stage string group 2, 4 or 2, 5 for the octave shapes. Then we've got 12, 12, 12, 12, 13, 12. And then we've got 15, 15, 14, 14, 15, 15. What this is, if you're a bit confused at this stage, is it's pentatonic scale 1, pentatonic scale 2, 3, 4, and five. Let's do that four again there. So it's all of those scales utilizing the lines, the straight line formations that can then be found within the scale. Now, you may ask, that's very useful to get to know them in these sort of downwards fashions. But how can I actually go and use these lines? What's the purpose of this? Well, there's a thousand things that can be done with it, of course, and there's a million ways to skin the cat, as they say. But one of the things we can do is we could play uh, what we call pentatonic chords. And as you can hear, that sounds quite jazzy. So using that, you can use that to improvise chords with, you know, like... You, 
you can make chordal improvisations using those uh, what I call pentatonic chords. And those pentatonic chords are made from the lines. And I'm playing strings one, two, three, four. I play the upper part, I play the lower part. Then I played strings two, three, four, five, upper part and lower part. Then strings three, four, five, six, upper part and lower part. So I've got. That would be in uh, pentatonic position one. Tricky one to play there. So you could kind of work them all out and work which one works best for you. And you don't have to use all of them, but you can do something like this. This one's a bit impractical. I mean, it's possible to play, of course, but a little bit of an impractical shape because you've got 10, 10, 10, and then a 9 there. This one's easy. This is just a straight line, kind of straight line. Another idea is to use them in this format, more in a, in a sort of lead guitar format. Or you can sweep them like this. So there's a lot of ways that you can use these pentatonic lines. But one thing I would say is a good exercise is to say, okay, I'm in my first position, I'm just getting to know them. Five, 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 five. Then eight, seven, 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 eight, eight. Second position. Again, eight, seven, 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 eight, eight. Second part, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. Going to my third position. 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. Lower part, upper part. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Going to my fourth position, lower part. 12, 12, 12, 12, 13, 12. Going to the upper position. 15, 15, 14, 14, 15, 15. Then going to the fifth position, and this time I'm going to go to the lower edge of the guitar. So the first position was here. I'm going to go here for the fifth position, utilizing strings 1, 3, 6. And here I could go 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, or 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 for the upper part. So you get the idea. If it's a bit confusing, just download the material below, print out that PDF and watch it with a video. Then it's going to make a lot more sense as well. The idea is just to memorize all of these little lines that we so beautifully find on the pentatonic scale. Now I want to show you something else. I'm going to leave the plectrum behind. I'm just going to use my hands. I'll play a chord for you. And what we're going to do is just tap this out. So we're going to have five, 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 five here with the lift. Then eight, seven, 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 eight, eight. And here with the index finger here, I'm just going to tap 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. Then all together we can do like, So basically what I've done there is I played eight. I played the first position together with the line over here. The line is 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. So I've got five, hammer on to eight, hammer on to 10. Five, hammer on to seven, hammer on to 10. Five, hammer on to seven, hammer on to 10. Five, hammer on to seven, hammer on to nine, because it's 10, 10, 10, nine. Second position line. Then I've got five, hammer on to eight, hammer on to 10, and five hammer onto eight hammer onto ten. All together I've got. And one can create really beautiful lines from that. You can take that one step further and actually play the first position as well as the third position together. So you can then actually tap these things out. Another thing you can do is to play the first position and play this line. Or you can play the line on the fifth. So basically you can combine the different pentatonic scales with the lines. I could even use the fifth position. Why 
One is to get to know all the different lines well to do that. And it requires a bit of independence between the two hands. But it's lovely to, you know... To combine both of them together in one fell sweep and just be able to play throughout these lines. So just to recap for you, just going to go through the lines again. This is in the key of A minor. The first line that we've got is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. The second line that we've got is 8, 7, 7, 7, 8, 8. The next line that we've got, the third line is 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. The fourth line that we've got is 12, 12, 12, 12, 13, 12. And then the fifth line is 15, 15, 14, 14, 15, 15. These can be used for chordal formations. These can be used for lead playing, something like, basically, if you do something like... These can be used along with some tapping ideas as well, like... So there you've got it. There's quite a lot of uses that one can use these lines for. If you look below in the description, you will see uh, the lines clearly there in the PDF document. So just download that document and then you can just work through it and play through it. Just try out the lines. Um, I would just recommend doing them just to get to know your pentatonic scale uh, because that will help you to visualize the neck so much better. And you know, when you do the sequences that we spoke about in the previous video, and you do, for example, the, the, the jumps. When you do those jumps, you need to know those lines. You need to know this line on the third goes 10, 10, 10, but then it doesn't go 10, it goes 9, 10, 10. So it's crucial for you to know these lines and to visually see them in order to make your playing so much uh, more interesting. So try some things with these lines. You know, when you play, if you play a blues, let's say you play some licks. You know, you could just make some, add some interesting flavors into your playing. So give it a shot, give it a go. As always, thank you so much for listening to this video. Uh, once again, do leave a comment, do subscribe, do share the videos. Um, I always try to provide value here. Just print the stuff out as well, have it with you to study it and work it through. Uh, if you're a beginner and this is a bit more advanced for you, you can even print it out and try it as well. It can always be in the future. You know, maybe you're still just learning, you know, where the notes are. Maybe you're learning a standard pentatonic scale and you don't know much about all of that. That's fine. Just keep a file of this and in the future you can come back to it again or just get inspired by some of these ideas. Now, if you do something like this, the tapping, and you're struggling to do that, the key is to do it very, very slow. So make sure you're going 5, 8, 10, 5, 7, 10, 5, 7, 10, 5, 7, 9, 5, 8, 10, 5, 8, 10. Actually play it and say it. Because if you, if you play it and say it, it's going to get a lot easier for you to then actually do it more automatically. So in the beginning, don't worry, you know, if you really need to even go 5, 8, 10, 5, 7, 10. That's no problem. Take it very slow. 
take it very meticulous and then later you can bring the speed and the the fireworks into your playing i wish you the greatest of success in your own playing have a great guitar journey forward remember i'm always available should you want to get uh, get in touch and 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 and, and you know book book a, a lesson or so i i teach uh, online via zoom and i'm always looking forward to helping you with your playing if you've got you know a few things you want to improve in your playing and take your playing to the next level but just remember something with whatever you're studying you know i know that uh, in this modern world we've got so much information it's a good thing to study a lot of material but make sure that you've got a straight line that you operate in make sure you're studying stuff that makes sense and that's why i always believe that one should study with a teacher because a teacher can help you to move from point a to point b to point c to point d in a straight line and a teacher can come bring you back to the basics where you know when you study with your by yourself you may kind of pick up something here pick up something here pick up something here but not really make great progress and that is why it's crucial that you do study with someone that's because someone's going to take you by your hand lead you along the way you know when we learn we like if you if you, if you think about a, a little baby that baby needs a lot of support to grow up and i see a lot of young guitarists like a, like that little baby who just watch videos upon videos nothing wrong with it i mean this is a video that I'm, 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 I'm filming right here and, I'm, and I want you to watch it as well. So nothing wrong with watching a video, but unless you've got someone to help you to go along the way, you're always going to stay a teenager. You need someone to guide you and to help you to become mature in your playing. So make sure you get proper education as well. Well, anyway, that's enough of a speech. I wish you the greatest of success in your guitar journey and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.